Welcome to In the Library. My name is Bill. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I would play one on TV, but we can talk about that later. I recently found out that we just passed the 14th anniversary of the Plain Writing Act of 2010, a federal law that requires plain language use in all governmental agency communications. I know this may be a bit of a niche video, but it was interesting to me, so let's get into it. Signed into law by President Barack Obama on October 13, 2010, the official name is An Act to Enhance Citizen Access to Government Information and Services by Establishing that Government Documents Issued to the Public Must Be Written Clearly and for Other Purposes. Well, that's an ironic name given what this thing is supposed to do. The law has three requirements. Follow the plain language guidelines. Follow the Office of Management and Budget guidance on implementing the act. And have a plain writing section on all government websites. Plain language is communication that your audience can understand for the first time they hear it or read it. The status is a little subjective because different audiences understand and take things differently. However, generally your communication is in plain language if your audience can find what they need, understand what they find the first time they read or hear it, use what they find to meet their needs. Paraphrasing Byron Gardner from his book, Legal Writing in Plain English, plain language is robust, direct, but simple and straightforward. It is still interesting reading, but not gaudy. Hey, you want more behind the scenes, early access and all kinds of other goodies? Check out our Patreon. Link is down in the description. Plain language gets your message across in the shortest time possible. More people are able to understand what you're saying. And there is a less of a chance that your document will be misunderstood or what you're saying is misunderstood. So you can spend less time explaining it to people. If your document gives instructions, your readers are more likely to understand them and follow them correctly. Finally, a couple of points on how to use plain language. You want to use reader-centered organization. You want to use pronouns and like the word you. You want to make sure you're right and speak an active voice, not passive voice. Use short sentences and paragraphs. Try to avoid jargon. Instead, use common everyday words. And finally, in written materials, easy to follow design. Use lists, bullet points, headers, subheaders, tables, etc. So there you have it, a brief look at the Plain Language Act of 2010. For more information, please check out the links in the description. For more on the history of writing, check out this playlist right here, or click my face to subscribe here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.